Good morning, Quackcopter 101 here. Before we st get started, let's get the shout outs out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Pete the Bush, RBLX. Pete the Bush, RBLX was the first to say first in one of my recent videos, and this one's a shout out. So, congratulations, Pete. So, what do I got for you today? This is an interesting quadcopter. This one has a lot of features to it. This is the Flytech T17. I was interested in this particular drone because it has quite a few features that normally toy drones don't have. Uh, first off, it does have follow me. And again, this is the year of the follow me here. Let me push this down here. By the way, you notice you got this antenna here that tells you right away we've got an FPV flyer. Uh, but when you, these uh, type of antennas that are in a bracket that can be removed and lowered, I recommend doing that. That will improve the reception uh, from your uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, by bringing the, the antenna down and out instead of just up along the body like that. So uh, that's what I tend to do, folks. <laughs> so keep that in mind. But what interested me about this drone was, it, first off, it's an optical flow drone. Remember, this is the year of optical flow quadcopters. Here's its optical flow 720p HD camera. What does that mean? That means that this drone is able to look at the ground and automatically maintain its position by looking at the ground. You don't have to actually fly it, you know, just... Get it in the air, point it in the direction where you want to take a video, take your video without uh, spending too much time flying it. <laughs> That's cool. I like that feature. Additionally, this has uh, hand gesture features where you can tell it to take a photo by giving it a V sign like so, or take a video, I believe, by take or moving your hand up like so. That'll start and stop video. So, you know, that has some... That's cool, too. Especially when you're, you don't fly with a controller. Although this comes with a controller, you want to take this out as a selfie drone, you can just fly it with your phone and do such things. <laughs> it makes it easy to, to uh, take this with you and get your photos or videos anywhere um, on the fly very easily. And finally, this does also have some advanced features that are only available uh, through its uh, app. You have to fly it with the app, and that is a follow me tracking feature where it will follow you along with uh, waypoint flying. It also has a waypoint flying feature that's available through its HFUN app. Uh, you, you cannot uh, do that, unfortunately, with the controller alone. You have to be flying with the app to do the, those advanced features. Now, one downside, though we have an SD card slot here, um, it is not for SD cards. Uh, you can't insert one in there. Uh, this, since this is the Wi-Fi version of this drone, uh, you cannot record directly to micro SD card. You have to record to your phone via the uh, HFUN app. This is, uses the HFUN app. And finally, this 720p camera can be swiveled up or down. It has a swivel lens. So you can point it straight down and get yourself a rocket shot if you want. <laughs> Set it to get straight up or raise it up and look at the horizon. Okay, let's go for a... Oh, before we do, I always forget to do this. <laughs> Here's its controller, folks. Let's go over the buttons of the controller. Um, this start and starts and stops the motors by pressing this a quick press of this button here for takeoff and landing, or a long press for emergency stop. Be careful with that one. That one will stop the motors and it will drop. Uh, we can increase the rates of the drone by pressing into the throttle stick, and uh, we have headless mode, which we can activate by pressing this trim button here, which is normally throttle trim, and one key return by pressing this button here. We can do flips by pressing into the pitch roll stick and then telling it which direction to flip. And on the right side, this button here is for taking photos. If you do a quick press, and a long press will start and stop videos. So that's it. Let's get the drone in the air and see how it performs. First off, turn on the drone by pressing its on-off switch on top. And let's turn on the transmitter, binding it with an up and down movement, folks. And let's start the motors in idle first. Take to the air by giving a little throttle. And see how long it, it takes before it stabilizes itself. I got a pretty good breeze coming from that direction there, about three knots. So it, it flew backward a bit there before it stabilized or stabilized against the wind. <coughs> Excuse me. Now what do I want to do is turn off the transmitter. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 2007, 2008. So about eight seconds later, it will descend to the ground and land itself on loss of signal. Okay, now for this part of the flight, let's fire up its app and see how it performs. So hope you enjoy this next part of the flight. 
Okay, this is the HFUN app available on Google Play and iTunes. And before we go into it, let's hit the settings in the upper left to show you what's available there. Uh, you can set the different uh, type of uh, virtual joysticks you could use on your phone. I like to use Rocker. That's the classic version, not what they're showing there is classic up, down, right, left. Rocker is joystick mode, in effect. And also I have the accelerator set to left hand, which means mode 2 control. Um, and the right side, I have English set as the language, and I've already done updates to this app at home. And let's hit that help button. And this shows the software instructions of this video. Um, it shows the uh, features that it has, inc including follow me, uh, operation, and uh, control mode. Let's go down here. There's the uh, talk. They call it master mode. That is the follow me mode. And you have to, you know, you'll get a blue box, and I'll show you that shortly. But you click on that blue box and it will automatically follow you. It automatically knows what the shape of a body looks like. It follows it. And also it has gesture modes. It shows you the gesture modes that you can use with the drone. Uh, palm control has not been implemented. You know, I guess they're planning it for that in the future. But it does have trajectory flight, uh, which is waypoint flying and headless mode too. So let's back out of this and back out of that screen and click, click on start. Okay, we are in control mode. Right now, I'm going to start and stop the video by holding down the right button. Let's see if that actually starts the video. Try it again. No, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, it worked. <laughs> I was curious whether it worked or not. And let's do an automatic takeoff by pressing the takeoff button on the right. Quick press. And does it take off? No, nope, I guess you got to give it throttle. Okay, again, I got a wind here, so I'm going to let it stabilize for a bit. When it immediately takes off in a wind, it does drift with the wind for a bit. But eventually, it knows it has a wind and it starts fighting it. So let me get in the camera and say, Hey, you like my shirt today, folks? This one came from Vegas. <laughs> okay, okay that's, let's go forward and upwind. I'm going to have to go to a higher rate, folks, because you can't fight that wind. Okay, I'm in third rate. Let's push forward. There we go. That's better. Let's go upwind a bit. And up, too. And take it up to about there. Let go. Let's see if it stops itself. It does. Okay, we're about eight meters high, I'm guessing. Um, it's bobbing around in the wind here. But it is maintaining its position. Let's go up to it. Okay. Actually, I want to stay downwind because I want it to drift toward me. Okay, but it, notice it does this toilet bowl effect in the wind when you're flying in the wind, unfortunately. Uh, on a windless day, it does not do this toilet bowl effect. On, on a windy day, it does, especially if you're up high. So we're going to come down lower. Let's see if that helps it a bit. I brought it down to about five meters now. Still got a little bit of drifting, but let's rotate it. And when you rotate, it drifts in the wind. So coming back upwind again, flying with, still flying with the controller. I'm going to switch shortly to uh, flying without the controller. I'm going to take it far upwind this time. And the reason being, I'm going to plop it there, and then we're going to rotate. There it comes back with the wind. That's a good wind up there. <laughs> it's a real good breeze up there. But it's impressive that it can't fight that. It can't fight that wind. Let's, let's go upwind until we lose signal. See how far we can go with the controller. Right about there. And it stopped itself. Let's go up, push forward again. Right about there. And I got control again. Let's go a little bit further. That was only about 30 meters, 40. Going and right about there, about 45 meters or so, something like that. And then it plops itself down. And when it loses signal, this is good, it goes into hover and just hovers there until it regains signal again. So that's cool. Let's see if I can turn it. Do I have control? I don't seem to have control right now. So <laughs> up, down. There, I got control now. And I'm trying to turn to the left. Okay, I don't have control. So getting closer. 
trying to bring it down. Oh, there we go. I got signal again. I had to get real close to get regain control again because I guess it was too far out. But let's go back over to the pad now and fly it with the controller to show you the advanced features. Turning toward me again. I'm flying at high rate, I forgot. <laughs> I better come back at that second rate. And it can't fly, fight that wind in second rate. But it can in third rate. So, well, it flies in the wind. <laughs> Let's land it. I don't think I'll be able to get it on the pad, but I'll try. There we go, in the wind. <laughs> okay, let's stop that video. Now what I'm gonna do is turn off this controller and we're gonna switch to uh, flying it with the app only, folks. So hold on for that. Okay, I turned off the uh, controller and it automatically uh, knew that the once the controller's off, the control automatically goes to the app. Um, I am in 100% rate and I'm selecting video recording and let's get to the air take off and there's the wind blowing it back let's see if it stops itself automatically and it does after about <laughs> less than 10 feet it'll stop itself and I'm recording and what I want to do is I want to get into the picture and I want to show you this okay hitting flight mode enters into master mode master mode is follow me again Let's hit start, or master mode. Hit start. We're going to enter into flight mode and master mode. There I am again, hitting recording. And we are in master mode. Flight mode, master mode. And it's not recognizing me today, folks. <laughs> so, with that, by let's try waypoints. Waypoint forward. And there it goes forward on waypoint mission, and it stops. Uh, I was in 100% rate. Let's try it again. Waypoint forward. There it goes forward. And then it stops. So you're in the waypoints. <laughs> Don't go very far forward and to the right. Let's see it do that. And then to the right. And will it stop itself? Eventually it stops itself with the wind. Okay. With that in mind, let's go back to select master mode. Let's Actually, let's come out of master mode, and I'm going to turn the turn the drone to the left, like that. Maybe and go up a bit higher, right there. Then selecting flight mode again or master mode, and it's not recognizing me. Let me turn off recording, master mode. This worked yesterday. <laughs> it's not working today. Okay. Let's land it, folks. I'm going to restart it and see if that helps it. And we'll reboot it up and see if that corrects the problem. Because this does work. I, I was using it yesterday. Okay, I've rebooted the quadcopter, rebooted the app. Let's hit start. Make sure we got FPV video, starting video, doing automatic takeoff. It's going to drift with the wind until it figures out where it's at. And we're going to go up a bit higher. And I'm going to get a little bit closer too this time. Going up higher. Down lower. There we go. And then hitting flight mode. I hear a beep beep and it's restarted. I don't know why it restarted. Let's try flight mode again. Okay, I'm in master mode. But it's not recognizing me. Let's see if we can do... Uh, Automatic gestures, okay? I'm um, holding up my two fingers. Take a picture. <laughs> Do it again. Let's see if it'll recognize it. Take another picture. I like my shirt, folks. <laughs> I couldn't get the follow me to work today, but this is working. This wasn't working yesterday. <laughs> well, let's see, hand mode, gesture. Okay, that's not working. But V. Okay, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. There. <laughs> Take another picture. 
Okay, going back to video one more time with flight mode. Come on, you can do it. It does, probably doesn't like the background. Let's try a different area. Hold on, folks. Landing it. We're going to go over in the grassy area over there and see if that helps. Okay, we're over here now. Let's uh, start and stop the video. Start it again and hit automatic takeoff. And let's see if this grassy area will help as a background to enable me to use flight or master mode. And no, it's not coming up today. I don't know what happened, folks, but it was working yesterday, unfortunately. But we're going to proceed here. Um, I'm flying it manually with the controller. What if I go a little bit further away? Try that flight mode one more time. Master mode, no. So that does not seem to work, unfortunately, today. <laughs> some of these work on some days and some that don't on other days. So, um, well, let's just turn it and we'll fly it manually. Going up, upwind and going up a bit higher. But, you know, I'll include some clips from what I did yesterday uh, trying to fly this with uh, manual mode. It doesn't really work very well, the man or the um, means of flying it with the uh, follow me. It, it'll just come toward you. Let me land that and raise the camera up because the camera's not fully up. But uh, when you're flying it and follow me, what I learned yesterday was that what it does, it'll fly directly to you. <laughs> And then you move out of the way and it just couldn't keep up with your movements. It'll just do a, a run toward you and, and try to collide with you is what the follow me was doing yesterday. So uh, let's see, I did gesture control. Once again, I haven't demonstrated yet. Let's do the takeoff if we got time to do such. Start the video. Takeoff. I think we're out of power, folks. <laughs> I wanted to demonstrate the bottom camera. <laughs> the belly camera that's the flight time you get yeah it's flashing but you can also take video through the belly camera um i i'm pretty sure i have some sample of that i'll include it here what that looks like it's it's not very impressive this belly camera the front camera is good the belly camera is not very good um it was very uh, washed out uh when i tried to fly it with that with such but anyways that's the flytech t17 um it's kind of neat it's it's app needs a little work <laughs> the app is promising a lot but uh, right now it needs a little bit of uh, upkeep uh, sometimes these functions would work like uh, yesterday I was trying to get the uh, waypoints to work and a waypoint would not uh, work yesterday <laughs> you know, I draw a line and it would just uh, just hover there but the follow me was working very well yesterday today follow me was not working very well at all it wasn't working at all but the uh, waypoints was working so you know the app needs some work Hope you enjoyed this flight, this Quadcopter 101, signing out.